Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's go over tabs. Now my old computer broke down and that's why it's my old computer, but I have a new computer now. This was my um, original just personal desktop, but I'm making a separate account for this. The, the reason why I'm mentioning this is it looks a little different from before. I couldn't get it the exact state before, but then again, it should be straightforward enough that it's not gonna be too hard to follow, all right? Now, let's go over tab bar and the problem or tabs. Now, the problem with tabs is that there's a number of different features behind here that we have to keep in mind for all of them. All right. So there's going to be the tab bar. OK, and the tab bar. The reason I'm talking that way is because it's we have to be very uh, clear about what we're talking about. The tab bar is where you put your tabs. So it is the appearance of the tabs themselves the tab bar. The tabs are simply just those things you click on, right? So the tabs, I'm hoping everybody knows already, it's just you click on the tab and you choose it and it choose it has some type of content inside of there, all right? So the tab bar, the tabs, then there's the tab bar control, the tab controller, not the tab bar controller, it's the tab controller. Now the tab controller controls how you affect the movement right here, right? So I'm clicking here, I'm clicking here. How are we getting this indicator from moving from here to here? Well, that's the tab controller, okay? And then finally, there's going to be the tab bar view right here. And the tab bar view is where on the tab you are, what's, what are you, what the content is you're viewing there, okay? So there's the tab, the tab bar, the con tab controller, which controls this, and then we're gonna have the um, tab bar view. Okay, so if we have all of those in, in line, then it works. Miss any one of those, and we don't work so well, all right? So let's let's start. I'm gonna do the same thing, scaffold. We'll get to this part in a little bit. Um, the app bar, okay, so I'm gonna put it right up here, label it tab bar. I could have put it down here, right? So you could have, tab have tabs on the bottom, but I just chose to put it right here for right now. And then we're going to say bottom, not bottom of the screen, bottom of the app bar. Um, and it's going to say new tab bar. And again, remember, this shows the appearance of it. And then we have a number of different properties. So these properties are the, of the indicator. So this is the indicator right here. So indicator padding, if you want some padding in there, size. So size says, do, how big do you want this um, uh, indicator right here? Do you want to have it? Label size, so as big as the entire tab is, I'm sorry, as, as big as the label on the tab is. So notice this is a three, so it's gonna be very small, right? The indicator is gonna be very small there. Or do you wanna have it just the size of the entire tab? So it doesn't matter how, how big the label is, it's gonna encompass the entire, the indicator is gonna encompass the entire tab. So, so that's what that indicator size is. Indicator weight determines the height of it. So if it's really, if it's like 15, it's gonna make it much thicker, okay? So that's a little annoying, so I'll change it back to five. Um, indicator color, so colors, orange, is, again, is the indicator. I, I um, commented out a few things, unselected red, this is a little annoying, so these are black. If I say unselected label color, the unselected woods will be red. I click on this, all the unselected will be red, but it's hard to read, so I don't like that, so I'll go ahead and comment that out again. And then there's going to be indicator, new box decoration. So um, we can have extra, extra decorations to it if you want to. So if you want to get real fancy, all I'm gonna do here is make the entire box purple when you select it, okay? So the indicator will basically be the entire box rather than just the small indicator at the bottom. You could do a bunch of different things, not really my strength, not my interest, so, but it's not difficult to go through and just play around with it and see what it looks like and what you like there too, okay? So is scrollable true? You could put true or false. I really don't know what that means. I've been trying to play around with it and I can't figure it out. So you can use the scroll button and to, to choose things but that whether you put that true or false, it doesn't make a difference. If anybody knows what is scrollable does, can you please leave a comment in the comment section? Because I'd appreciate that. Then you have the controller, like we talked about. 
controls the movement from here and there. And then there is the, we'll go over that in a second, and then there's the tabs. So tabs are pretty straightforward. New tab, it's in a list fashion, right? And then new tab, and then you could put either text, icons, widgets inside of here. Icon, child would be a widget, so you can do all, all, all sorts of things um, in the uh, tab itself. I usually don't like to be too fancy, but you know, some of these tabs have an icon in there. Some of them have text, sometimes so they have both. I usually like text, again, personal preference. Um, so that's with that. Now, the tab controller. What is the tab controller? Okay, tab controller controls the movement, so we have to instantiate it somewhere up inside of here. So there's several different ways of doing it. For right now, I'm just going to say, th this is, again, probably not good practice. We probably should be using... Um, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, dependency injection. So this is just an example of how to actually use it. But in the future, we'd be using dependency injection. And when you instantiate it, um, you'd have my state as a constructor, and then you would instantiate tab controller in it. Okay. So, but right now we'll just use tab controller equals new co tab controller. And there's two major um, properties: length. Length refers to how many tabs are there. So it has to be the same number of tabs as there are the number of tabs here, okay? Length and then vsync and then initial index. Where Initial index is where it starts. Zero, one, two, three. So if you want it to start at two, remember it starts at zero, zero, one, two. It would start with the number three being checked, the number three tab being activated, okay? What is vSync? Well, what is this? Of course, like, as we made reference before, why is this? Why is this invalid? This shouldn't be invalid reference to this expression. Um, that shouldn't be the case. What is um, this? Refers to this class, the object of this class, right? So that's what this refers to. So in order to make it work, I used this single ticker provider state mixin. All right, so it's going to be mixing this class with this class right here. What is this? Okay, so what is vSync itself? When you think about, I'm clicking on this thing, there is a lot of information behind here, right? So there's a lot of information that's still sitting behind these tabs. I'm just not seeing it. So what vSync just tells me is that on the thing that I am clicking on, Pay attention to the object on which I am clicked. Don't pay attention to the ones on the outside. So it kind of saves memory. Now, I'm not exactly sure how it works. So in other words, if there's like a video that's running and you click here, does vSync mean that run in the background or does it mean put a pause on it while I'm on the next tab? I think it means put a pause on it but again, we'll have to learn more in the future. Put a pause on it and just pay attention to the thing you're, the screen you're on. That's why VSync is, is this, just what you're, what you're looking at right now. All right, so um, that's a lot more advanced when we get into animations and stuff. It'll be a lot more important. But for right now, nice and simple. That's just the what that actually means. And for the longest time, it took a while to figure out. You have to add this in here so it gives this this characteristic right there. All right, so it will work just like that. All right. Lastly, now we have the tabs, we have the functioning, but we don't have the content down below. All right. So where are we going to put the content? Well, we're probably going to put the content in the body, right? We're not going to put the same location. It'll be kind of crunched up inside of there. And I could put anything I want to, but I'm just going to make it super nice and straightforward. So I'm going to say new tab bar view in the body. So we have the, that, that fourth component right there and we need the controller. And the controller has to be the same controller as up here, right? So if it isn't the same controller and I'm clicking on this, how will the system know which icon am I going to look at, right? So that's what we're going to do. So here, actually, I'm going to put new text. Change it up a bit because I'm kind of like a, I'm a rebel that way. Um, hi. Okay, so we'll do that instead. Um, and then tab controller and then children, again, here is the list. So of course, the children should match up with right here. The children right here, the number of children should match up with the number of tabs right inside of there. Click on it. Click on it. It has high right inside of there. 
I don't actually know what happens. I think you will get an error if you don't have the same number of children. Let's see what happens. It won't be an error, but it just won't work. It'll just be basically un unusable in and of itself. So we have to keep that all in mind. All right. So that's it in a nutshell, the tabs in Flutter. Okay. So that's the end of this video. Next is a commentary. So feel free to, to, to turn the video off and have a good day. Um, some of these videos, when I'm looking through this thing, it's very, very boring. And there's one after the other. And this really remembers, does anybody see that movie, The Karate Kid? Not the, the recent one, but the one with Ralph Macchio. And it was, it was a classic scene where he does the, the Mr. Miyagi is there and he says, show me, send the floor, and then show me, wax on, wax off, and show me, paint the fence. And he was, da um, uh, Daniel was his name, was doing all these chores of waxing the floor, uh, the car, um, sanding the floor, and painting the fence. And his muscle memory, um, in those actions, he was able to develop some muscle memory in about four days of doing this, so that after he painted the fence and waxed the, the, the cars, he kind of all of a sudden knew how to do karate, at least the basics of it. All right, so this is kind of like that for me. So it seems monotonous and it seems ridiculous, but this is my version of the wax on, wax off. So if I'm going through these things and get a little bit better understanding, then maybe it puts me over to understanding the bigger picture of Flutter. So far, I think that's working and I hope it's working for you. So I hope you don't give up on that. But from a personal st um, uh, standpoint, this seems to me like I'm kind of like the karate kid here, only I don't know karate and I'm not a kid. So, But other than that, it, it seems to work in that fascination. And so I'm hoping that as we go on, even if this is not making sense to you and it's going, going too slow, I, I hope you'll, you'll see the big picture like I'm starting to see as well. Okay? Thank you very much and wax off.